anyone from your son's dad's side of the family bought the baby anything? And are you dating anyone? back to my youtube channel before i start this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure you have your bell turned on so that you'll be notified every time i drop another video also guys make sure you click the link in the description down below and follow me on all my social media accounts um i am finally about to give you guys the q a that you guys have been waiting for i ended up doing a community um not community post i'm sorry i ended up doing a instagram um post on my story but i ended up doing a instagram story i believe it was on june 12th to be exact and i wanted you guys to give me some questions now i already know what the obvious questions are about they're always about the same people or one specific individual um to be exact and so yeah i'm ready for it all um yeah i right now at this damn time in my life and my journey on youtube i can't do a q a where you guys just want to know something about me like you guys always ask questions about other people and so this will be my probably my last q a because every time i ask you guys to ask me questions you guys always revert to asking me about other people like i want you guys to ask me questions like what do you want to know about me like i'm branching off into myself i'm finding myself i'm becoming myself and i'm just trying to break away from being tied to anybody that i was tied to in my past so respectfully whenever i ask you guys to ask me questions that means that i'm asking you guys to just ask me questions like where are you from how do you feel like you know like how are you like i want you guys to ask me questions okay um but yeah so um since you guys did not do that <laughs> i am going to go ahead and answer these questions for you guys and go ahead and get them over with i realize that some of you guys ask me the same exact questions every time i say q a today ask me questions so um the answers will not change um so yeah let's get right into some of these questions first question is um have anyone oh wow first question guys on instagram you guys have no filter but i love it i'm not even gonna lie i love it and if i was still that other person that i used to be I will be with the ish i promise you i would but i'm getting older have more kids i went from one to three real quick so um yeah like it's kind of time out for that okay i'm on a different journey surrounding myself with different people new people and yeah first question have anyone from your son's dad's side of the family bought the baby anything? Have anyone from your son's dad's side of the family bought the baby anything? Okay, uh, they just added an extra word in there that kind of threw me off. But um, to answer your question, no. Um, you guys, my supporters, have bought me um, baby gifts my family have bought me um baby gifts and y'all saw in a video that damien had bought um a car seat for him and some clothes or whatever so so far just you guys my family and damien and i'm okay with it to answer your question no i have not received a single thing 
from anybody on that side so yeah um are you going to any counselors to get help with the trauma you've been through that's a good question and i'm not ashamed to say this but yes i am i am getting um good counseling or some people call it therapy for the trauma that i have been through in my life because with all of the most recent events that have taken place uh, i'm pretty sure somebody would have ended up killing themselves by now or ended up in jail and um i'm not going to jail behind anybody nor am i going to off myself for anybody why for them to still be here being the same people that they are so and i'm going to counsel them to heal from not just the recent stuff that's uh, going on but stuff that uh, i've dealt with in my childhood which allowed me to make the silly mistakes that i made which we're all human you know so we're gonna make mistakes but um i have gotten to the root issue of um why i have chosen certain routes certain directions you know um and it's not a bad thing i know like a lot of times people feel like if you're in counseling or in therapy that there's something wrong with you or you're crazy like no it's you have to learn how to deal with certain situations you have to learn how to cope with them because if i i'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now if i wasn't talking to the people that i talked to i know for a fact somebody would have been and got an ass whooping and i'll just leave it at that um or how are you pressing forward um well like i just said um therapy the, the people that have been closest to me like family um certain mentors and stuff like that like that i talk to every day they have uplifted me tremendously um one thing that i don't like is for them to have sympathy for me you know and i and i understand like sympathy comes from a place of reasoning like you can kind of understand how that person feels what that person is going through because like i mean even if you've never been in that situation before or have never been remotely close to being or going through anything similar to what that specific person is going through you like some people actually have a heart there's people out here that don't have a heart and obviously we know who those people are we see them every day in the comment section we see them all the time um when people try to run you off the road in the grocery store people cut in line in front of you like those are people that don't have hearts but then there are some people out here that really and truly genuinely have a good heart so yeah so that's how i'm, I'm pressing forward oh and i'm sorry uh god please forgive me prayer constant prayer uh listening to motivational speeches and stuff like that understanding that nothing happens to you it happens for you and you may not be able to understand it now but you will um in the future whether that's in the near future or you know years and years later on down the line like you'll be thankful that you went through what you went through and you have to learn how to trust the process the process may not look good it may look nasty it may it may not feel good but it's going to get you to the destination that you've always asked god for and the destination where you're meant to be do you believe parenting as a single mom of three will be hard i don't like the word hard because it's similar to the word can't like when people say that they can't do something you can do anything that you put your mind to so um i don't think they will be hard but i do feel like it will be a challenge especially if i don't have the right support system you know a lot of times people they can pretend very well i feel like we've all been in situations where it looks like a person wanted to help us but really they only did it for their own self gain and nobody knows what their gain is because none of us can read minds um you, you can pray for a discerning spirit to where you can feel people's spirit and you know be um a step ahead and aware of what their intentions are but the dog the dog but um yeah so lately um i've just been 
trying to recognize like patterns like when people are in my life you know because there are people that I have to deal with for the rest of my life family for example I've just been recognizing patterns like um, there, there are people out here that can really and truly change and I feel like I'm becoming that person like as much as I want to revert back to that old person as much as people say you ain't changed you ain't changed I don't care I'm not perfect so that's a difference between someone changing and someone that's not perfect but I literally sit here daily and I see stuff and I hear stuff and the old me if anybody that knows me or been like subscribed to my channel for a while you know that I'm about that life when I want to be about that life but the life that I want to be about is peace I want my kids to grow up and say hey I came home every day and my house was peaceful my mom cooked for us every day she made sure the house was clean she didn't just allow any man over her house to fulfill any loneliness or whatever I didn't have to see her once she got herself together I didn't have to see her get disrespected by a man um she was independent like she depended on herself and god like you know she busted her ass to make sure that the bills was paid and food was in the refrigerator like i don't want my kids to remember a bad taste in their mouth about me like i tell kim all the time like you know you're you, you're a big brother now um gonna be of two um brothers so mommy is not gonna be here all the time I tell him mommy's gonna have to die hopefully it'll be when she's a hundred but you know like you're gonna have to hold it down because mommy is not gonna always be here do I believe a single mom of three can be hard or like I said challenging of course because I have a one-year-old a 16 month old and then I'm gonna have a, a newborn so so yeah, Dion is going to require 100% of my time and the new baby will have to require 100% of my time. And I'm not married, so I don't have a husband that can help me with anything. Um, my mom, she works, you know, and other people, they have other priorities and things that, you know, they want to focus on. And um, I've been told that the situation that I'm in is my fault you know I have a lot of people that's around me that's like that uh, they're for me and they want to see me win and then I have people that just pretend like they want to see me win and I have people that they're not sympathetic you know they rub a lot of stuff in my face and so that's one of the reasons why I don't trust there's there's not an adult that's walking right now that i can say that i 100 percent trust and are you dating anyone absolutely not um and i will not be dating anyone for a while i know a lot like i see i see stuff like you know people saying that i'm miserable because i'm single um in today's world um being single is not a bad thing especially if you're a social media influencer because when you're a social media influencer you have people that look at you like your money so that sets you up to, or they look at you as an, an investment that's 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 the professional term investment they look at you like you're an investment so people that don't mean you well will come slide in your dms People that are envious and want your lives will try to DM your significant other um, because, I mean, realistically, there's a lot of men on this earth that has a weakness for women. And I've heard people say that it's because back in the day that, people, that they had multiple women and whatever, but you got to also understand that back in the day there was no cameras, there was no social media and um if they was cheating on their wives or significant others uh they didn't find out and i even heard some stories from the older generation in my family that if they was cheating and they side piece stepped out of line to let the main piece lord why am i you 
Lord, what is the world coming to? But they would like literally cut them off because they was about to jeopardize their family. Nowadays, like side pieces are okay with being side pieces. Like they just want money. They just want whatever it is that they can fulfill the brokenness. Because I feel like you you have to be broken to accept certain things. Like and and I and I admit I've I've never been a side piece to my knowledge. Let me rephrase that. To my knowledge, I've never openly dealt with someone that was in a relationship with somebody. Now, if they was in a relationship and I didn't know, that's different. But, yeah. Um, a lot of the things that people do in today's time is out of pure brokenness. Because they didn't take the time to go to counseling or therapy and heal from the trauma that they went through in their youth and so um like you ever wondered like what for prime example and i know that this thing got nothing to do with the question but we're gonna make this video as long as possible because cam and dion is upstairs sleep right now which means that i can get some videos done okay period y'all this is so bright i i may end up putting a filter over this um let me see I don't know if that's better or not guys but and I don't know what happened that fast but it went from like kind of dark to bright real quick and I don't even know how long it's even been like that but anyways what I was about to say is when I say heal from any trauma not just childhood trauma it could be when you in your 20s trauma when you in your 30s trauma when you in your 80s trauma like but have you ever noticed like a person that always keep in contact with their exes like no matter what no matter what i mean unless they have kids together then that's understandable but there are some people out here that always stay in contact with their exes and you know we call them soul ties soul ties is kind of like more so on the spiritual level you know when you uh, have sexual encounters with someone um, different things get released inside of each other's body and that's what creates soul ties to where um, even if you want to leave that person and stop talking to them like you're going to do it by default because of a soul tie but you need to get educated on how to break that soul ties otherwise you're always going to be connected to somebody that you don't want to be connected to unless you're just strong enough to say you know what um, I'm going to fight the urge to call this person I'm about to fight the urge to uh be around this person or whatever and no i'm not talking about myself i'm just giving you guys some examples like i'm at home every day i don't be around anybody but my kids so <laughs> i don't have no i don't think i have no soul ties the only soul ties that i have is to myself to the lord right any advice on being a single mom i don't have any kids but i am just asking okay that's weird so are you asking because you want to have kids and you think you're going to end up being a single mom or are you asking for someone else because i will say this if you don't have any kids and you're asking that question um it's a little weird but i would say be very careful who you have kids with because when you have kids especially multiple kids like you got to have energy to cook for them three times a day you gotta have energy to take them to the park, to the zoo, to the aquarium, wherever, because you don't want them sitting in the house. You have to have energy to just deal with them, like on little bitty stuff around the house, like giving them baths, feeding them. So if you have someone that's toxic in your life that's gonna pull your energy, that's energy that's gonna pull you from your kids and you're gonna end up depressed, you're gonna end up laying in the bed, your house gonna be a mess. And trust me, I have been there because of how somebody else was making me feel. It can really be, um, it can be detrimental, you know, because you still have to, you have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else. That's kids, significant other, uh, family, that's anybody. Like, even going to work, like, you have to take care of yourself first. You gotta take care of yourself first. That's why, like, when you get on an airplane, they tell you about, like, the masks and stuff. Like, if there was ever a plane crash, like, you have to secure your little thing first before you can help anybody else just be careful with who you allow in your space because like i said that person can take your energy to where like you're not gonna have any energy for your kids um i would say not to make the same mistake twice so if you 
are a single mom um start recognizing and writing down why you feel like you're a single mom like what mistakes you could have possibly made and what mistakes the person that could have potentially caused you to be a single mom what they caused so that you won't make that same mistake because I ended up making that mistake twice and um it's not a good feeling because I'm 29 and I'm a single finna be a single mother of three and that's because I can put a lot of the blame on myself because I didn't do the healing that was necessary so I attracted the wrong people I mean they may feel like they had attracted the wrong person too but obviously there's trauma that needs to be healed from all parties because you know you are who you attract not like in a sense of like all of their ways is your ways but if you're broken then you're gonna attract somebody that's broken because if you were 100% healed a person that's also 100% healed could recognize that you're 100% healed but if you're not 100% healed there's no way a person that is 100% healed going to entertain you because they're going to recognize your toxic ways. The only way that people end up in toxic situations is because two people has not healed. Y'all know y'all have y'all girlfriends, right? And I'm not saying like no lesbian type stuff, bisexual stuff at all. I'm talking about like girls that are literally friends that you've known from high school. Y'all travel together, y'all go get y'all nails and hair done, all that type of stuff. So, have you ever found yourself on the phone, like, calling her, like, hey girl, um, my man doing this, and I don't understand why he doing it, and yeah, could you help a sister out? Um, one, the first sign of you being with the wrong person is if you gotta call somebody and ask. If you find yourself asking, calling somebody in your family, your friend, or whatever, Googling what does this mean, YouTube and watching Tony Gaskins or um uh what's his name? Uh Lafon uh what's his name? Lafon Labozier. Is that his name? Stefan. Oh Lord, I said Lafon. Stefan Labozier. Watching them or Googling how to tell if he cheating or whatever else, then that's your body way of signaling you that something is off. Because guess what? If you were a hundred percent healed, you wouldn't know. Like, I can use myself for example. Around this time last year, um, I was seeing certain stuff that was going on and I could not prove it. Instead, I started asking people that I thought had my best interest at heart and they were only giving me their opinion from their perspective even though they've never been in a situation like that before. Like, they were literally telling me that I was tripping, that I hadn't healed from the relationship that I was in prior and that um, I'm pretty much scarred from the relationship that was in prior, but that wasn't the case. The case was that the person that I was in a relationship with really was the person that I felt in my guts and in my spirit he was, but I couldn't recognize it because I hadn't healed. So instead of me recognizing it from a, a healed place, I kept going back and forth like I couldn't tell if it was me if I hadn't healed so okay maybe I'm tripping and I just got trust issues or if it was really him so when you heal then you'll know that it's not you it's the other person are you disappointed about your life that's a good question disappointed I would say no because I'm learning to okay so I'm learning that when you become disappointed in something is because you had a expectation from someone. And every time I expect, because when you have an expectation, you expect something from someone. So any time in my life that I have expected someone to do something or I expected for them to come through for me because I come through for them, never ever have any expectations when it comes to anybody in this life except for your kids like your kids will probably end up coming through for you uh, well I know for a fact my kids will because I'm gonna raise them right some kids you know like they are their parents um, they are their parents parents if that makes sense like you got some kids that actually run their their parents you know like they tell them what to do 
and I'm gonna put the fear of God in my kids. They they will not. You will know your place. You're the child. I'm the mother. I had you. You did not have me. If you want to boss someone around, if you want to control someone, you can go and have your own kids, and you can tell them what to do. But it will not be mommy. Kim already knows that already. Have I been disappointed before? Yes. But now I just don't have any expectations when it comes to people. Like I don't expect anything from anybody. Even when they're being nice, I still don't expect for them to be nice. It's like, oh, okay, thank you very much. I'm very grateful. I truly appreciate it. But I'm not going to expect for you to do it again. I'm not going to expect for you to come through for me. I'm not going to expect for you to help me in any situation anymore. Because then you will get let down and you will be disappointed. Because sometimes people don't have your best interests at heart. And sometimes people just attach themselves to you for the wrong reasons. And I have gotten to the point in my life where I'm just tired of painting false narratives. You know, of what like people... It's just weird. Like when you are a social media influencer like people like the realness of situations get taken out versus if i was just a regular person and nobody knew then the realness would still be there like when it comes to people cheating it's like when you're a social media influencer people are, what did you do to get cheated on or what did you do to get abused or what 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 did you do what did you, it's always like what did you do Versus if you were just a regular average person that worked a nine to five at Walmart or McDonald's and nobody knew who the heck you were and you tell somebody that your husband cheated, they'll be like, oh no girl, you need to leave his ass. Like, you know, like I don't understand why being a social media influencer, it just takes the realness. It takes the, um, what what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I don't even know guys. It just, it just takes stuff out that's not supposed to be taken out because just because you are a social media influencer like people have told me that my life is like a Tyler Perry movie the only difference is when Tyler Perry writes his uh, his movies and his scripts and stuff like that like it's fake so if you get mad at them or you cry or you're sad or you're happy or whatever that's okay to do because it's fake my life is 100% real so there's nothing to laugh about because some people, they, because of being a social media influencer, they may not be able to see the realness in any situation. And they may be looking at it as if like it is a Tyler Perry film. Well, it's not. And it's my life and it's serious. And I, you know, like, um, I'm just kind of just like mind blown at like stuff that I see in comments. Like I can easily pinpoint now because I'm on my healing journey, I can easily pinpoint someone that is just going through certain generational curses that has been passed down from generations, probably four, five, six generations ago, because of their beliefs and what they believe in, and it comes and it comes out through certain comments, so where they'll think that you crazy because you have a complete different opinion or perspective than them. Or vision or whatever you want to call it and theirs is like so far-fetched but they they really try to convince you that you're the problem and you're the issue when you can clearly see who's the problem and who's the issue yeah yeah I'm not gonna lie um, I like talking to y'all so this Q&A is gonna be really 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 long are you okay with having all three boys of course I mean, of course, I wanted a little mini me. I'm very glad that I am having another son versus um, having a daughter with someone that I saw no future with or someone that didn't see a future with me that um, looked at me like I just wasn't worth it. Like I would have I would rather share that special moment with the person that God has for me.